All right, what's going on guys? We just got down here to the pier. I got my nephew here with me, starting uh, starting and fishing young, and we're gonna teach him, as well as you guys, on how to make your own sabikis. Because uh, if you guys do fish sabikis to catch your own bait, or to target other species, you know that it can be an expensive thing to purchase at the tackle store, as well as really, really annoying to store in your tackle box. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach Nathaniel how to tie his own sabiki. So there's several ways to do it, but the way that I do it is you're gonna go ahead, bud, and take your line and just start off with a loop. So you're gonna loop it just like this. And then you're gonna take these two top lines, the top of the loop, you're gonna to begin to wrap it. I'll do about six wraps. It's gonna depend on how heavy your line is. This is 30 pound. Do about six wraps. And then you're gonna have wraps on each side of the loop. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom of the loop and pull it straight through here. I use my mouth to make it a little bit easier. And you're just gonna pull. Pull it nice and tight. And then, you're gonna take your hook, and you can use whatever hook size that you want. I got big giant hooks right now, because it's easier to see and easier to practice with bigger hooks. Then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the loop and pinch it and just put it through the eye of your hook. So just like this. So take that straight through the eye, and then just pull it around the hook just like that so pull it tight that hook won't go anywhere and then you'll just repeat this process as many times as you'd like just make sure you're always following the local fishing rules and regulations on how many hooks you can go so let's go back repeat this process so again loop yeah take your loop wrap it about six times one two three four five six then just take the bottom of the loop down here, pull, pull it through. through. There we go. And take another hook. And the cool thing about making your own tubikis is you're able to put whatever style of hook or whatever brand of hook or whatever size of hook you want. So if you're bait fishing, you know, you can do small tiny hooks if you're bottom fishing for rockfish or something on our the california coast like we are here these are basically just standard size dropper loops is what we call them so you got your hooks you can do more i got two right here to just kind of show you but you can just keep stringing it up and do as many as you want and then all you do is put your weight on the bottom so for this i'll just do nothing fancy it's a standard fisherman's knot Pull that nice and tight. So you got that nice and tight. And then there you go, you have your own your own subiki. Again, this one just has two hooks. You can repeat that dropper loop process as many times over as you want. And it's cool also too, if different size bait or species of fish are coming around, because the way that you have your hooks on these dropper loops, it also makes it really easy and quick to interchange your style of hook. So you can just pull that off super, super fast, put a bigger hook on if needed, smaller hook on if needed, or just different style if you want to go from a straight J hook to a circle hook for whatever reason, or you could put, you know, bucktail jigs on it or whatever you'd like. But it makes it super quick and easy to interchange. And also, if you get tangled with somebody, it helps to get out of tangles. If you're out on like the sport fishing boats or something, you just pop the hooks off when they're all tangled up and just pull them tight. And a lot of times those tangles will just come undone once you get the hooks off. And then once you get your tangle done, you just slide the hooks right back on super, super quickly. But that's pretty much just the gist of it, bud. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions or comments, just write them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.